So we, over here in Australia, we've got, we've got three time zones, right? Do you know what they are? Okay, so the one that we're in, the one that we're in, the ones we are in are, well, we are currently in AEST, right? which is Australian Eastern Standard Time. Why is there um, why is there an A in front? But why not just Eastern Standard Time? <laughs> right, so there are many, many different Easterns. So, where is the Sometimes, sometimes we're not AEST, sometimes we're AEDST. What's that? Daylight Savings. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time? You could say UTC. Or GMT. Yeah. Now, other important ones. Um, I'll, I'll get to GMT in a second. I want to look at Australia first. Uh, by the way, you can Google this if you want. Um, just look for time zone map, I think. And you can now, so for instance, if I go here, there's Alice Springs. Well, I clicked on Alice Springs. That was a mistake. Let's go back. <coughs> Sorry? The end of my entry is there. Doesn't matter. Uh, hooray. Um, okay. <laughs> Where'd you go, Matt? I didn't mean what I said. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so if I come back, oh, I keep clicking on it. Oh, that's okay. Um, it's A C S T. A C S T. If it's an Alice Springs, what would you guess that refers to? Central Standard, Central Standard Time. Time. Okay. And there here is. Perth, and no prizes for guessing the name of the time zone that Perth is in? AWST. AWST for Australian Western Standard Time. Okay? Now, we were alluding to a few others. So, GMT is Greenwich Mean Time, but it's not called GMT anymore officially, even though we keep on saying, I mean, I think it's a fairly, um, it's nice because then you know where it's based on. It stands for Greenwich Mean Time, but what we've replaced it with is UTC, which I looked up yesterday. Did anyone else look it up? It's an awkward, um, it's an awkward acronym. It stands for Universal Time Coordinated, which doesn't, I don't know, it feels a bit weird, but anyway, grammar. Um, so that's UTC, same as GMT. Everything else is measured in relation to it. So if I come back one more time, because I accidentally keep clicking forward. On the map you can see, everything is measured in relation to this. So Australian Eastern Standard Time is UTC, Universal Time, but it's gone forward. You can see how far it's gone forward. Do you see that? So we are 10 hours ahead of whatever the time is in Greenwich. At least we are right now. If we're at daylight savings time, then things are going to adjust from there. So we... Uh, plus 10. Which means, as we go further west, you can see Alice Springs, Australian Central Time, they'll be plus 9, and in Perth for Australian Western Standard Time, they'll be plus 8. Does that make sense? Uh, you can have a look. What else do you see that's also plus 10? Have a look. What's up there? So, I want to point out a few things here. Um, Russia, Russia is huge. I don't know, people don't, we didn't think that much about Russia. We don't have a strong relationship with them. Um, Russia is massive. Like it stretches from, I'm pretty sure, this red one, no. No, this this one here, I think. This very big country. I got it there. Uh, that's the check <laughs> I love that. There we go, yeah, yeah, I was right. So. Here is the most western part of Russia for any history buffs. Um, this, this over here is that border where um, uh, he tried to go in it and invade Russia and failed because too cold. Um, you've got Russia and it goes all the way across here over to that eastern section which uh, goes off to touch Alaska or almost anyway. So look at all the different colours and you can see all of the time zones that Russia passes through because it's huge. However, even though it goes through all of these different time zones, then you notice this one, 
which goes across, uh, I think it's five actual time zones, but it's all green. We talked about this yesterday. What is it? China. This is China, right? So everyone in China is operating on Beijing time, uh, even though I think Beijing is sort of around here, and these guys are like 3,000 kilometers west, still the same time on their clock. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you can't do that. No. So, but that's the same for go. all those countries. Like, like, even if they're more. Are you talking about like which kinds of countries are you talking about? Like, like say this one. Mean, no, 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 more that way. They have the same time as they're a little, a little that way. Mm -hmm. like, left, yeah, left, left. Yeah. Like Where these guys. Even is, yeah. Europe. Yep. You're talking oh, about so these guys Europe, in yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they have the same time as China. No, 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 no. We just ran out of colors. Oh. That's off. <laughs> they just ran out of colors. So. Um, <laughs> I suppose they could have had more shades and just put them harder to read. Um, okay, so does that make sense? You see how these standard time zones work? So all you want to think about is, think about where Greenwich is, which is, here it is here, right, UTC. It's in line with, um, with Great Britain up in there. And then as you travel west, you've got less time. And as you travel east, you've got more time, right? So the time is ahead or the time is behind. Does that make sense? Okay, if you haven't already, open up your textbooks. Let's look at 10H. Let's have a go at questions. How we need to So, if you have a question. Oh, right, yes. Hey, wait, wait, wait. So, what does it say? Change time what? Where? Where? Based on your exact longitude. Is that the part you're in? Yeah, so. We don't do that because it's crazy. It's like I've gone a little bit and then my watch has to go back four degrees. Um, can I just show up on the top bit? I only yeah. have the top bit. Is that right? Akil, okay, what was your question? Um, so you said a degree is four minutes. How long is that in distance? Like, what's a degree on the earth? Good question. What's a degree on the earth? We can work this out. So this actually calls back to um, a previous exercise we were doing where we were working at the distances between places um, on different, or on the same longitude or on the same latitude, okay? So let's think about it this way um, before we get to these questions because this is a really important question to answer. If you've got the Earth here and you've got two longitudes that are only one degree apart and they're obviously going to be quite close together like that. So I'm going to go one degree like that and work out how far apart they are, okay? Um, if they're on the same latitude, they have to be on the same latitude, Say if they were on the equator, okay? Let's work out this distance, and this is a bit tricky, so watch out. If you think about the equator, here I've just sliced across the Earth, so there's the equator, right? And you've got these two spots, I'm just gonna exaggerate it because otherwise I can't, you won't be able to see them. And they're only one degree apart, okay? If I went 360 degrees, I would get the whole circumference of the equator, wouldn't I, right? So if I went 360 degrees, I'd get that whole distance. But I'm only going one degree. I'm only going one degree. So therefore, I don't want the whole circumference. I only want one 360th of that circumference. Okay. Now, we know the formula for circumference. It's 2 pi r, right? Where r is the radius of your circle. But we know, actually, what the radius of this is. I didn't point this out before, but I might as well now. On your... Or your data sheet. Yes. The radius of Earth is provided for you. It says take it as 6,400 kilometers. Why do they say that, by the way? Because it's not exactly a sphere. So this, and there's like mountains and valleys and all that kind of thing. But we say that's close enough. So when you have a look at this, that's your value of R. Okay. Can we work out what this is? Can you grab your calculators out and help me a little bit? <laughs> I'll just say seven. <laughs> okay. So, this is how far. This is how far you would have to change. Oh, sorry, you'd have to drive or fly. Um, 
to change four minutes on your time. So yeah, this is not going to, like this doesn't happen straight away. It'll take you an hour at 110 k's per hour on a, on a highway. Um, straight, straight across, by the way. Now, I just want to point out something tricky. I want to point out something tricky, which is that, I'm coming back to my globe. <clears throat> do you remember I mentioned to you um, that I was looking at the circumference of the Earth? The reason I can do that is because this circle here is not just any circle. On the Earth, it's a great circle. Do you remember what makes a great circle a great circle? It, it passes right through the center, which also means it's the biggest a circle could possibly be by slicing across. Okay. Now think about this for a second. Let's have a look at the Arctic Circle. Okay. So here's the Arctic <laughs> Circle. Now, if I did a, a similar kind of thing, right, and I wanted to see, well, how far apart is one degree, but somewhere up here, do you see you're not going to get a great circle? Or well, the latitudes, the parallels of latitudes are all smaller up here, right? So therefore, if I drew um, Arctic circles up here, right? So if I drew something like this, one degree between these longitudes, it's much closer together. Do you see that, right? If I exaggerated it a little more, let's put um, a couple of longitudes that are quite far apart. So these are one degree apart. Let's say we went that far, okay? It's objectively easy to see that this distance here is going to be different to this distance and this distance and this distance because the longitudes, remember, they're not parallel. They all intersect up here, right? And, and down here. So therefore, they get closer and closer and closer together. So this distance is one degree on the equator. You'd have to work out something different for wherever we are. Sorry. There we go. Because the parallel of latitude we're on is going to be smaller. It'll be one of the small circles. Does that make sense? So this is on the equator. And we should probably actually write that down. If, we've, if you've written the rest of your working like I have, um, this is equivalent to one degree <coughs> longitude but please qualify it. It's on the equator. That's why when we did that exercise, you may not have noticed this, when we did the exercise about working the distance out between two different spots, they always gave it to you on the same longitude, right? Because every meridian of longitude is a great circle. So you can do this. They never ask you to work out um, distances on the same latitude because it's much trickier. Um, you're going to have different radii for all of those different circles because they're different sizes.